Welcome to CAD Tutorials and in this video I'll be doing practice problem 9.10. So you're asked to find the input impedance at an angular frequency of 10 radians per second. Right? So you have this in millifarads, you have that in millifarads and you have that in henrys. So all of these are in different units. So what we are to do is to transform everything into impedances. Right? So to transform a capacitor into its equivalent impedance, you use this formula, 1 divided by J omega C, and therefore we're going to say 1 divided by J omega, which is given to us as 10, and the value for the capacitance, both capacitors are 1 millifarad, so 1 times 10 to the minus 3, so just basically punch this into your calculator, and that should be your ZC. Now for this inductor over here, ZL for inductance, to transform it into its equivalent impedance, you're going to say JWL. So J and uh, omega W is given to us as 10 in the question. And the value of the inductance is 8 Henry's. And this is what you have as your impedance in ohms. And the resistances are, 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 sorry, the resistances are already in ohms and qualify as impedances, or they are impedances themselves. So let's punch both of these into a calculator to find the answer. Or you can just look at this to say 10 multiplied by that will be 10 to the power negative 2. Now, taking 10 to the 0, which is 1, and saying 10 to the 0 subtract to negative 2, we're going to have 10 to the 2. And 1 over j is equal to negative j. And therefore, the results for this is negative j 100 ohms. And over here, you just have 10 multiplied by 8, which is 80. So you're just going to have j 80 ohms, right? So that is what you have. So now we are all set to find the equivalent impedance. So we can add these two because they are in series. So adding these two, this is the impedance which corresponds with that one millifarad. So this is J100. So negative J100 added to this 100 because they're in series. right? And on this side, we have this and that in series. So this is the Z, ZL which you have over here, which is JAT added to 200 because they're in series on this side right now this series combination this one here is actually in parallel with this one millifarad capacitor because they share two nodes so this is in parallel with the one millifarad capacitor and the impedance which corresponds with this one millifarad is negative j100 so this is what we have so in the end, this is what we basically have. The parallel combination of these two will be added to the series combination of these two. So this will be our Zn, right? This is how we basically do this. So this is the first part over here. These are in series and the combination of this is in parallel with that. So this parallel connection, which is that, is going to be in series with this. And that is why we add the parallel connection to the other series connection which we have over here. So all of this, you can just basically punch into your calculator. And the answer which you're going to get, so for this, let me simplify this. So it's going to be 100, negative G, 100, added to what we're going to have here is negative G, 100, right? multiplied by 200 plus J80 divided by 200 plus J80 subtract J100. So this is our input impedance. And the answer which you're going to get after punching all of this into your calculator is 149.5 minus J195 ohms. So this is what you have to punch into your calculator to find the answer. So this is 100, 